Zapraszamy do obejrzenia pierwszej części tego wnikliwego wykładu zatytułowanego Karma jest czymś odczuwalnym. Przeciwności mistrzyni, aby widzieć się z uczniami. Część pierwsza z trzech. W między mistrzem a uczniami, wygłoszony w języku angielskim 26 maja 2007 roku w Klagenfurt, Austria. sao rực lửa tình yêu sao lạnh băng tình yêu như địa ngục tình yêu như thiên đàng And I have to go take a shower because I think I smell something. I, <laughs> I don't know whom. <laughs> I've been traveling for two days, two days on the road. Yeah, different cities and dusty. Yeah, one walk and so on. Yeah, you know, trains. <laughs> so a little bit tired. Yeah, but we see each other, okay? I supposed to come yesterday, but I could not. I tell you. <laughs> yeah. I supposed to come yesterday and wait for you. <laughs> Open door and say, Welcome, madame. Welcome, monsieur. But well, I could not. You know, first in the morning I went uh, to, you know, I took a look thumbs up. And then I could not. Go, uh, I missed it because there was no taxi. Yeah? And then, share it, okay? Not put it in your pocket. I love you guys. I hate you. Ah, oh, terrible people. Yeah, I tell you what. It's like a movie, you know? It's like a movie. I went in the morning early, yeah? Get up early and prepared to go, but then uh, when I went outside with the taxi stand, there were two taxis standing there. And nobody was cute tomorrow. No, I look good. <laughs> no bathing, no washing, nothing for two days. But never mind, I'll come back soon. And in the taxi stand, two taxis, Leah, yeah, empty. And you say Libra, yeah, mm -hmm. free, free. And then uh, I didn't see the taxi driver, and I called the company. They said, oh, you wait there, they'll come, they just drink coffee somewhere. So I went all over, because I was in a hurry, you know, time, you know, to look up and, you know, the airport. So I went to every coffee stand, look, and I said, taxi driver, taxi driver, taxi driver. <laughs> Nobody said anything. <laughs> no. And then I called again, said, you wait there, you come. Okay, I wait. And then the first taxi driver came. I said, oh, oh, please, take me to the airport. Said, no, I don't have time. <laughs> I say free, but I don't have time. I have to go now. So she drives, zip, went like that. Okay. She said, you wait here. The, the other one's coming. Okay, I'll be waiting another half an hour. The other guy coming. I don't have time. I must go. <laughs> I also drive away. I have an appointment somewhere. And I called the taxi company, you know, to please send another, but they didn't answer anymore. The first one, they say, don't have taxis. The second time, third time, fourth time, ten times, they didn't answer because they know they don't have any more taxis. It's a small place where I live. It's not like uh, you have a choice like London or Paris or something like that. You know, no choice. Just one taxi company, yeah? And so even if you kneel on the floor and beg them, even they don't have, they don't have. Okay, so I was late for the first plane, huh? Okay, book second plane. It took many hours, huh? Okay, waiting. And when the plane arrived, sorry, madame and monsieur, ladies, gentlemen, meine Damen und Herren, the Flugzeug geht noch nicht, weil it is etwas nicht in Ordnung. Mechanical problem. We are repairing, and as soon as it's okay, we tell you. Right. But at first they change the gate, you know, they make you wait at one gate for a long time and nothing happened. Then you go and I say, oh no, you go over there. <laughs> and then went over there, the, the plane didn't go because kaput. 
and they repair, 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 many hours. And I said, okay, I'm not waiting anymore. I have to go. I have children waiting. I'm going. <laughs> I already had a boarding pass, you know, but I went outside to the counter, another counter, you know, to try to buy another ticket to go another airplane. And then the moment I went to the counter, I said, I want a ticket. He announced, oh, your airplane uh, is ready to Vienna. Yeah, I f first one to fly to Vienna. Okay. Fine. So of course I, I didn't buy, huh? I run back inside, huh? I went to the checkpoint again, huh? Oh, the cream, uh, water, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tiger bomb, you know. Oh, I have to throw. They say you must put it in the bag. I say, oh, I don't have time. I have bag. I say, okay, I throw it all out. So I don't have anything, you know. Hand cream, everything I have to throw away. I don't have time to to go and get the bag or show it to them. I didn't have time. I must go. The plane is leaving. <sighs> Run inside. You know what? I got on the plane, everybody was happy. <sighs> Finally, we're going. Half an hour later in the air, they say, Sorry, Madam, Monsieur, uh, Lady, Gentlemen, Madam, and Herr, and the Flugzeug Niki uh, Nono. The airplane uh, has a mechanical problem. The pressure in the airplane is no good. Yeah? It's getting hot. Oh, like an airplane was burning or something. We have to return. Oh. to that airport, where we came from. Okay, return, fine. But the airplane was getting hotter and hotter, you know, return. And when they return, next to the airport, they say, sorry, uh, the airport is closed, a bad weather. <laughs> we have to go find some other airport. Okay, we went to other airport. Oh, sorry, we don't have a, how you say, a flyway free because every other airplane also went there because the other airport was closed, you know, suddenly, because of bad weather, it changed suddenly. Just half an hour later, everything changed. So they closed the whole airport and big airport and everything, an extra airport, everything closed. So every other airplane that's already in the air, <laughs> all go in and landing next to the extra airport, wherever they can, you know. So we circle, circle, circle. And you know, this airplane was very small. I think it's only one hour from there to, to Vienna, from that airport, you know? So if, if they circle any further, I don't think they have any more fuel left. That's the problem. Everybody was so scared. Because we went already half an hour, you see? And we came back half an hour. That's one hour already. And the, that airplane was supposed to carry passengers only for a one hour period, you know? Maybe they have a little bit more extra, but I don't know how much extra. Mostly, if they don't need it, they don't put a full, full uh, tank, so they can take more, more cargo, you know, and passengers, yeah? So they keep circling, circling, while everybody was sweaty, <laughs> because the airplane was so hot, and they were so scared, and the children were screaming, crying, because they understand what's going on. And all the people were clinging to the chair, and I can see their toes digging into the carpet, like this. I said, never mind, just... Pray, huh? nothing much I can do. So they were praying, all right, you know, but everybody was so scared because it circled too long, you know. They were so scared, huh? In case we could not land, what to do? You know what I mean? You remember the joke? No, you don't. I tell you. <laughs> yeah. For old woman, you know, like, like me, go on an airplane for the first time. And then suddenly the pilot says, sorry, um, one of our engines is kaput. So we probably were one hour delay, yeah, for, for landing. Sorry about that. Okay, no problem. And then half an hour later, the pilot says again, sorry, another engine is kaput. There are four engines. <laughs> another engine is kaput, so we'll be one more hour delay, sorry for the inconvenience. But we'll get there. Okay, fine. Another half an hour, say, another engine kaput. Now we have only one engine left, so we'll be two or three hours delayed. Sorry for the inconvenience. Yeah. So one of the old ladies said to the other, <laughs> if there's one more engine kaput, then we stay in here forever. <laughs> On the air. <laughs> That's what I was thinking yesterday. <laughs> so I was laughing and nobody understand. I said, <laughs> Yeah, so I keep quiet, you know, I love myself. I was thinking, 
I don't know how many engines they have, you know? <laughs> Maybe one kaput already, if another one kaput, then that's it, you know? We stay there forever in the air. <laughs> and you can just stay here, enjoy the sea and everything. <laughs> I have one person less. <laughs> okay, I'll see you later, huh? Okay? Yeah. It's too hot here, huh? Okay. It's okay. It's worth um, okay, fine. I know, but I don't have a bigger room. Anybody who knows Carpenter's job? Yes, okay, come. Huh? Take the glass up. Yeah, um, take the glass up or make it flexible so, so we can open and close. Yeah, can we put some timber open close? No, not close. No, what? Timber that we can open? No, 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 no. We need the glass. Um, you know, I don't like glass on top, so you can either put back the glass. If it's difficult, you just buy plastic, okay? Yes. Clear yes. plastic and thicker. Perfect. Yeah, and then you make a, a hinge, a hinge, uh, okay, and then it's open, close, open, close. I want it clear, uh, clear, not yes. not wood, because we need the sunlight also, yeah? yeah. And when we want, we can tape it, you know. Yeah. Or you make both wood and 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 oh. yes, and then when we want light, we open. We don't want light, we close, okay? Yeah, okay, see you later. I, uh, no rush. After the uh, rest is something, you do it, okay? And gas nail, okay? Thank you. Candy <laughs> 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 kiss behind there. Uh, <laughs> you want any more? Anybody who don't have? Somebody who doesn't have? Oh, are you cheating? <laughs> <laughs> share it, share it, okay? Share it. Thailand. Huh? Uh, I will be here for a few days, so you have more. Don't worry about it. Okay? Thailand. 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 <laughs> many taxis here, many trains. I'm very tired, but I'll see you later, okay? Let's go take a shower. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Working, yeah? Okay, it's like this. Uh, okay? No? Not okay? Hello? Check it out, Master. Huh? Check it out. No, no, no. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, two. I wish I had two airplanes yesterday instead. You know, jump from one to another. Maybe we have to open an airplane company. Yeah. <laughs> if one can put, we go on the other. Otherwise, it's off so much. It is very hard for someone. Oh, yeah, you know what? It's like this, huh? It's too hot, okay? Noon time, you go do what you want. Or is noon time good to meditate? Yes. Is it good? Yeah. It's cooler, right? Is there more cooler? Oh, there's only one. Two. Don't you know, huh? Three. Three. Still hot, huh? It's you. Yeah. You are hot. <laughs> <laughs> you are hot property. <laughs> Yeah. At least. Okay. But it's hot outside also. <laughs> <laughs> so better give it all, man. Okay, I'm telling you what. Why so small? Can I make it bigger? Tired, man. Two days probably, unfortunately. So you cannot make it bigger? It's, it's a bit... So what's that one? I don't know why. No, it's an honor then, no? It doesn't work. I don't know why. So what now? I'm just going to turn that one on there. Oh. <laughs> Hello? Yes. There. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, it's like this. English or German? Okay. You have translation? Oh, wonderful. Okay, like this. It's like this, okay? I have pay for the next strand, you know, the beach nearby. It doesn't look like a beach, but they call it a beach, of course, because it's next to water, you know? Then you can go there and swim and, you know, and yeah. But normally this hotel has only about 20, 40, 60 people. <laughs> so maybe you take turns. If you go there, you say, you're from this hotel, and you can go there and swim. We don't have our own beach yet, yeah? Actually, I wanted to buy the hotel in front of you. You see the blue one? That's next to the, it's beautiful, uh, next to the lake, yeah? And you can swim whenever you want, but they don't sell it, okay? <laughs> and any uh, other hotels that won't sell, you know, the one next to the water, it's difficult to buy, yeah? So just stick with this, okay?
And if you feel like going swimming, then maybe we arrange some time. Like, okay, today a group of 20 go at two o'clock. The other group, five o'clock. You know, go all day. Take turns. Yeah, you arrange with uh, each other. Who wants to go in the morning? Who wants to go noon? You free, okay? And afternoon, when it's a little bit cooler, then go spaceering. Yeah, and look a little bit around and get to know the vicinity. Uh, just walk around. Don't try to tell everybody at one time. Two hundred people saying we all from this <laughs> hotel. <laughs> the quieter, the better. Understand me? Yes. I have so many problems over the years. It's not like I control you. No, I don't control you. I really want you to have a good time. It's just you know, the police, the bureaucrat, the local government, the neighbor. <laughs> And the other tourists, the other tourists, yeah, <laughs> everybody, yeah, and we are just a weird group. <laughs> you must know it. No, don't do anything. Don't go anywhere. Don't even go spaceering. Don't even go walking anywhere. Just sit, eat, sit, and eat again, and <laughs> sit again. What kind of people? <laughs> What kind of tourists are these? Yeah? So, of course, no wonder, you know? <laughs> they will feel like, oh, they must be aliens, yeah? <laughs> Extraterrestrials. Ah. So, you do it quietly, okay? Maybe you take turns, okay? But go quickly. I want you to enjoy the sea a little bit around here, not just sit here, because you also work every day, yeah? I like to be near the sea so that you can enjoy a little swimming. Thank God, so hot! My God! You know, other places in Europe have thunder, rain, rain, blister, dark sky, airport closed, and here you sit in and sweating. <laughs> yeah, sweating from outside already. Yeah, I was sitting in a taxi, coming here, and she had no aircon. <laughs> I was sweating. You know, I was cold. I wear, wear a jacket, but when I sat in her taxi and began to get out, you know, stepping onto this land. I felt hot, sweating already, and she had no aircon. She said, we, we don't need it here. We are in Austria. <laughs> <laughs> what kind? You know, it's so hot. But this sea is the hottest sea in the whole of Austria. When it's proper, it's 28 degrees. And the water is uh, drinking quality. Oh. Yeah, the best sea in Austria. Well, I want to think it's the best because it's ours. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you don't own it, okay? Don't dream about it. Nobody owns the sea, yeah? The, the, I mean, the, the, the lake. They call it Z here, no? Z, huh? S E E means lake, yeah. Because they don't have a sea, you know, so they dream about anything. They call it sea, sea, sea. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have ocean, you know? So they love to call everything sea. It's small sea, big sea, small sea. <laughs> there's another small sea next door, about one third of the size of this lake. And there's another sea, bigger water sea. It's very famous, you know, they even made a film on it. But we don't go there. It's too far anyway, yeah? It's too far. About 10, 10, 15 minutes, not that far. But uh, we're here, we have the sea next door. You just cross the street behind here, you know, behind you, yeah? But don't go into that blue hotel. It has a private owner. I wanted to buy it, but they don't sell it. <laughs> Go to, uh, just keep going left. Oh, I have to even show you, if I remember. <laughs> it's not far, it's about like three minutes walk from here. You walk through, there's a block gate, and then walk a little bit further, and then go down. Anybody know about it? You know about it? How? I yeah, know, but how do you know about there? Just walk around. Uh huh. But you can't just swim everywhere, they're private owned property. It didn't look private. Okay. Like uh, public, you know? Maybe, but people own it. Yeah. Sometimes they don't ask you, but uh, there's nothing public around here. I'm sorry. Yeah? Here, hard property, waterfront, not public. <laughs> Everything's owned by somebody. So I have arranged it with one of the owners of the beach so that the people here can go there and swim. I pay, yeah, yearly. We already do that. But not many people at the same time. Their land is not that big. You know, if you go all together outside, the whole sea is full. Nobody else can come. <laughs> Not to talk about that small private beach that I don't even own. I only share. But that is only the arrangement from... I took it from before. Mostly this hotel, the fullest would be 100. 
60 people because it's 20 rooms only. At the normal hotel, they don't overbook like us like this. <laughs> so if everybody goes out with 60 people maximum, you know, and they go there, if they say, from this one's on, then it's okay, yeah, because uh, we pay for it. Well, I hope they still continue paying, <laughs> but that's what I arranged. Anyway, I have to ask a little bit more carefully, yeah? But if you see the sea, just jump in. If, uh, if somebody is cold, you're okay, you jump out. You're already in. <laughs> At least you're wet already, so what's the point, yeah? <laughs> Actually, everything is owned by some, some people, yeah? Of course, they don't have a gate and lock and all that, yeah? But it's owned. I'm sorry, everything good in this world is like that, owned by somebody, yeah. I just want to... Yeah, I have to talk about it. Maybe we don't go swimming there yet, but I'm thinking it's too hot for you at noon time. Maybe you take turns to go and walk around, yeah, and go swimming. Do you take swim bath with you? Nobody told you? No. Did it? No. no, then borrow each other's, yeah. <laughs> Cut your T-shirt and make a triangle. <laughs> yeah, one triangle downstairs, one triangle upstairs, you, you're singing, yeah. That's all we need, no? What else you need? Huh? Or go full length like that. <laughs> People will laugh at us, okay. But don't try to lie too long on their chair, okay? Yeah. There is a hotel, huh? It's, it's also free for people to go there. But don't just go there and swim, lie on their chair and then walk out, huh? If you go there and swim in their sea and lie on their chair, walk on their grounds and drink something. Understand? Yes. Well, they probably wouldn't say anything, but if many people all walk in there, <laughs> swim in their private beach and lie on their private chair, if they even have enough, that many, and then all walk out together, <laughs> then it would look very beautifully weird, no? <laughs> they would never want to see you again, huh? They might install a bodyguard at the gate, yeah. Uh, it's very nice, that hotel. I wish we could buy that one. That would be enough for everybody to swim every day and have a lot of room, you know? But I don't know why. We, we have luck in heaven, but we do not have much luck on earth. Everywhere we go, we are squeezing. Yeah. And the good hotels, they don't sell. Another good hotel, there's another one bigger than this, and it has bigger rooms and all that, but it's too far from the sea. You can only see with the... <laughs> yeah, I mean, the <laughs> they don't even have a leg like this. There's a small pond-like, and you use binoculars to look at it only. Yeah. <laughs> But it's very, very spacious, cheaper than this one. That's, you see, something this, something that. And also the toilet is not communal, a communal toilet. Uh, probably with so many people like this, I have to call the truck every day, you know? <laughs> Maybe every hour to go pump it out. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's uh, like a septic tank system. They don't have a communal system over there yet, you see? They will have it in five years. Yeah, if we are still here, maybe <laughs> we consider buying that. Maybe that's why it's cheaper, but it has bigger rooms, big rooms. Yeah, well, see, it can't have everything. I want it near the sea, you see, as near as possible, yeah? And I don't know if we like it or not, so... Do you like it? Yes. Why? <laughs> huh? <laughs> huh? What? It's yours. It's yours, okay? It's ours, yeah? Private. <laughs> Privately owned, yeah. It's so far, my God. After four trains, uh, many taxis and many planes, I'm feeling this place is like uh, another world, you know, another planet, so far away. Oh, I forgot to tell you how I got here. Hmm? Okay. When the, the plane landed, you know, the plane got so hot already, I would have been very happy to run out of that uh, dangerous plane, but they kept us inside. We could not go yet. We're waiting for the bus to take us out. Isn't that silly? <laughs> <laughs> waiting, waiting, but no bus because all the buses were busy. All the planes that went before us took the buses already, so we didn't have any. So finally, they let the prisoners out, walking, <laughs> walking. Okay, thank God, at least we're walking on the ground, you know? Before we're walking on the clouds. <laughs> Nobody liked it at all. Even though if somebody says, you're walking on the cloud, means you're very happy, you know. Lucky person, but not that, not that day, no, not yesterday, <laughs> not me, no. I'd rather walk on the ground, huh? Okay, we walk, 
I walk into the airport and I say, please stay here and we arrange another plane for you sometime when convenient. I say, no, thank you. <laughs> I'll go out find a taxi. I want to find another airport. You know, because that's also a small airport. It's not very big and they're just emergency landings. And it looked like the weather was not going to clear because it was raining very hard and thunder and all that. There's another airport still like that, you know? So I tried to go to another airport. And what happened? I told the taxi driver to go, go. It's about uh, 200 kilometers, at least, to another airport. Fine, we can go. He didn't know how to go there. He punched it into the GPS, yeah? Okay, he kept punching, and it didn't work. <laughs> then GPS didn't work. He tried all different ways, it didn't work. Can you believe that? Huh? No taxi, no airplane, no GPS. <laughs> Looks like nobody wants me to see you guys, these, uh, these lousy faces. <laughs> Looks like heaven wants to stop me or something. My God, I almost died in the air, and I came down, and I couldn't no. even get a taxi. You know, the only taxi left, I ran over there. Oh, 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 are you free, sir? Yes, okay. I jumped in the GPS, didn't work. He tried for half an hour. And then I said, okay, just uh, take me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and then I finally uh, went around and I said, do you know if there are any train stations nearby? Maybe I have to go on train. Do you know any train go to Vienna? I say, I have no idea. I never go on train. I drive taxi all my life. <laughs> go nowhere. <laughs> okay, fine. I said, please ask your friends or colleagues. Maybe they know. Finally, they said, okay, we know, but it's about 175 kilometers away from where we were. So we drive. It cost me 500 bucks. All right. More expensive <laughs> than sometimes on the airplane. Huh? Actually, okay, went there. Ah, luckily, have train. Yeah, okay, you go. I said I wanted to go to Vienna. Yeah, because that's all I know. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, they don't go to Vienna, they go through Munich only. Fine, I go to Munich, hang around there waiting for another train. Yeah. And then that train doesn't go somehow. So I said, okay, I, is there any other way to go to Vienna or Klagenfurt somehow? I had to wait many hours more. You know, all day already for Munich was very tiring, you know, because I was running, running. I didn't know which one, you know. It was very chaotic in the Bahnhof. In the airport, it's very busy, but the Bahnhof, more busy, you know. My God, I haven't been on a train for a long time. I forgot what it looked like and what it's like. Oh, you get confused, so many lines, you know. You have to walk from one to another, and so many people, you don't know where to go. And you want to buy a ticket, you wait, oh, two kilometers long. <laughs> yeah, really like that, yeah? So finally, I asked, uh, can we pay somewhere else? Yes, yeah, there's a machine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a national credit card? No, I don't have. <laughs> a foreigner. Oh, cannot. So what else to do? Finally, I asked, uh, can I pay on the train? Say, yeah, you can. Oh, why didn't you tell earlier? <laughs> Because it's more expensive for you. I said, I didn't ask you about saving my money. <laughs> Make me wait for half an hour to tell me that, you know? Because there was still half an hour more to wait if I kept waiting. Because a lot of people, and everybody wanted a cheap price, you know? They have children, they cannot afford the, to pay on the train. Even 20% more for them is a lot of money. And today I sat on the train and somebody was arguing about seven uh, euro because he had seven euro and then he, he bought a seven euro ticket and he wanted to upgrade to the first class and the, the conductor didn't want to. And then I said, ah, oh, that is not good. It's, 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 it's not legal. Uh, he was going to sue him, <laughs> something like that. So for ordinary people, it's very difficult, no? So they all queue in very long queues and to wait. Even for the airplane was also queue in long time. Huh? And I don't know anything about booking internet and all that. And every time I ask somebody to book on the internet, uh, they have problems. I don't know why. I could either not get onto the plane, or I'd be late on the plane, or I don't have a taxi for a plane, or the plane delay, or the plane's kaput, or the plane returns to the airport, for example, like that. Oh, I really don't have any help, but I'm telling you up to now, everything. Can you believe that? Have a ticket already, but cannot go because no taxi. Okay, go on, on the airplane already, but cannot go because the airplane kaput. All in the same day, the whole day through, I walked 
from one terminal to another, and you know sometimes the terminal can be like five kilometers long. You know that, huh? From terminal one to terminal two, you can walk forever. Yeah, and you can get lost meanwhile for fun also. <laughs> If you like to get lost, it's very easy. Yeah, in the airport because sometimes they don't have any signs, you know. Or you might be absent-minded and tired and don't look, and then you walk into a different tunnel. And there you are, your terminal three, which is another three kilometers away. And then you're welcome to go back another five kilometers to, <laughs> to terminal two, for example, like that. Yeah. Okay. But it was really the karma is something you could cut, you could feel it, you could grab it. It's not just talking, huh? It's not just talking. It's not the first time, huh? But normally I, I do not tell you so. Normally we don't we don't talk about this, huh? I don't. Today I feel like I want to. I just arrived. <laughs> I'm so glad to be here. <laughs> After all day, all night, no drink, no food, and walking from from one terminal to another, one airplane to another, and one airport to another, and one train station to another, and one taxi to another. Even taxi, you have to take two, three because the guy at the airport didn't know the local area, so I have to take another local taxi. Yeah, and then uh, sometimes when the GPS didn't work, then I had to take another one, the one that knows. Okay, we change it. Kept doing that all day, two days long to get here. It takes only two hours normally. Understand? Last time to Malaga, normally it takes only a few hours. It took 36 hours, but that was by car. And today we have all kinds of transportation. You know, somebody criticized me one time. I went to the theater one time. Uh, our disciple was an opera singer. You know, Hildegard Behrens, the German one, very famous, no? And, uh, and she invited me to go there, or somebody invited me to go to her opera. Yeah. So I was, uh, I just uh, had uh, had an operation, small one, but uh, it was so painful I couldn't even walk. And uh, so they hired a taxi, uh, no, a limousine for me. So that we have all medicine and all that kind of stuff in there, and uh, somebody criticized me that I went in a limousine, you know, only once or twice. Sometimes they require it. For example, if I go to Hollywood, the Oscar or something, you know, they require everybody have to go in a limousine. It is a requirement. Really, I don't know why. It is a requirement like that. So I had to go in a limousine also at that time. Anyway, somebody criticized it. Some other journalist or something. So I said to them, "Oh, you tell him I don't just go on limousines. I go airplane. <laughs> I take all the airplanes in the world. I go on different kinds of airplanes. Any time I want, I just take a different airplane. Yeah, and I go by taxi, and now I go by train, <laughs> and all kinds of things. Yeah, limousine is nothing, isn't it? Huh? I got Boeing 707. No? <laughs> yeah." <laughs> <laughs> I go everywhere, and if there you ever, I go too. <laughs> Limousine is nada, no? This is a piece of uh, toy. <laughs> okay, now you know, huh? So I'm sorry I'm late, but I didn't mean to cheat you. I really was supposed to be here yesterday, five o'clock. You know what I mean, huh? Yeah, all right, no. So it's not always easy to come to see you. I don't know why. It's more difficult to see you than to see the Queen of England. Huh? Or some king or some queen. I've seen some kings, some queens, some presidents, but to see you, my God! <laughs> What are you? <laughs> who who are you anyway? <laughs> who are you? That's so difficult to see. Huh? Kids. 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 Why so difficult to see? <laughs> What kind of kids? <laughs> Huh? Devoted kids. Oh, if you are half a devoted, I wouldn't have to go through this. Anyway. Okay, I'm just saying, if it's too hot, uh, please, uh, we rearrange the time. You tell me when is the best, because you meditate here all day already, you approximately know what time, yeah? Unless the weather changes. When it's hot like this, maybe you take, you take groups, 30 people go here and the others go there. It's the sea all around, yeah? Maybe it gives you like one hour free, you walk around, and if you see an empty, uh, no gate to see, you just jump in and... If people call you, you're already wet, you know? <laughs> What to do? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> well, people are not that strict here anyway. They know we are tourists, you know, nobody understands much about the rules around here. Yeah? And the sea is big anyway. I mean, the, the, the lake is big. You just look to see where, you know, and you jump in. Yeah? 
I look for a little bit clean, okay? There are some places that are not very clean. There's a hotel they want to sell for two million euros, but so dirty. Oh, the house dirty, the beach is dirty, like nobody has cleaned it for 100 years. I'm not joking. No, if you don't believe me, you go out, walk left and keep walking, then you see the dirtiest beach in the whole world, then you know that is the one. <laughs> yeah, dirty and, you know, uh, rotten things and Coca-Cola bottles, all kinds of things all over. And, oh, God, I don't even want to look at it, not to talk about buying it, yeah, even if I have the money. Because if you buy that, you would spend five million dollars more to repair it and clean up to be fit for the kids, <laughs> <Yeah>? <laughs> the royal kids. Okay, maybe you go free. Oh, too hot. Go, go, go. Go do something. Eat or do whatever. What time you eat? Five. Five. Uh, it's about time. Four forty-one. Yeah, who cares? <laughs> Refresh yourself and then ready for food, okay? okay? Yeah. See you later. Ciao. I go work, okay? Yeah. See you later, guys. Yeah. Uh, enjoy, okay? Uh, you know what? After eating, if you want, because it's cooler now, mm. so you may go stroll around. Just go like you don't know each other, okay? <laughs> Like two, three people. Ten people know each other, okay? Come hold hands, okay? Ten people hold hands. Let everyone know that we are one in family or we are going home, huh? I'm, I'm not joking. I'm serious, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go like a tourist, okay? Yeah. No ID card, no <laughs> No matter photos, no ID. Okay? okay? The leg doesn't care about your ID, yeah? <laughs> and nobody here cares. You just walk like a tourist, yeah? Okay. Uh, a group, okay, but not, not too many to people. Not like, hey! <laughs> Over here! Hoo-ha! <laughs> 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 Don't do that. Okay? Uh, I, I'm not kidding, huh? Yeah, okay. Yes. okay. Otherwise, if any trouble, we cannot stay, you know? Even this is my own place, but I don't want yeah. noise. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, tell everybody. Yeah. Tell each other. Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, is a world-renowned spiritual teacher, humanitarian, and artist. To learn more about her compassionate life and teachings, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash master. <laughs>